Hello friends, today this is a very very important question that you will always be asked what I guess you will be always be asked about RE framework in an UiPath interview right. So we have to understand details about RE framework what are the questions would come and how to answer them okay so that is the agenda for this video. Now let's start let me ask you a very broad question what is RE framework can you explain it right this is how they will ask just to understand how much knowledge do you have on RE framework so the question is what is RE framework so RE framework stands for robotic enterprise framework okay robotic enterprise framework okay so you can always refer the documents.uipad.com where you have little bit of details around the robotic enterprise framework in case you want to go details you can follow the academy or the docs anyways so first answer is robotic enterprise framework okay done after that you should say re framework is a pre-made project template it is a pre-made project template based on state machines so for example so these are the different states right initialization state get transaction data states so there are four different state one two three four four states and seven transitions so this is a transition this is a transition so one two three four and here one two three so total seven so this should be your first answer so by listening to this i will gain confidence on you that you have knowledge so you will say re framework is a pre-made project template based on state machine which has got four different states and seven transitions okay so anybody can remember this and say it but what is required is your knowledge on that okay so listen to me for few minutes and i'm pretty sure you will be confident to go to our interview and you should be able to answer so that is my goal so now i said four states so the first state is initialization state second state it get transaction data state okay and the third one is process transaction state and the last one is end process state okay these are the four states now it's not easy anybody to mug up this okay i don't want anybody to mug uh, you know try to remember and go for interview you should really have proper understanding of everything i'm going to quickly explain you all of this now before i explain all of this for your interview purpose i would also like to request you as i always told you to crack an interview your in-depth knowledge is your true knowledge is required remember this you can try 100 interviews but you may not clear any one because you may be lacking in-depth knowledge so remember in-depth knowledge is always required for an interview okay so i would request you to gain that in-depth knowledge so go to uipath xo channel and here you have something called playlist and in the playlist please go through the re framework playlist um, re framework where is it re framework so if not just search for it okay there is a re framework playlist i have created it's not appearing for some reason but again if you go to uh, home and or go to videos just try for re framework okay i have created the entire playlist re framework so please go through all of these videos okay it will can take some three four hours for you but go through all the videos then only you should you will be able to answer and get a job okay so with that note let's go back to uipath studio and try to understand how will you answer so you will not have four or five hours to answer and explain everything right you have to answer quickly so what are those quick answers you should give from your understanding okay so first thing you said robotic enterprise framework which has got four different states and seven transitions so what happens initialization right this is the first state in this state this is responsible to initialize the application used for your project so for your project you wanted to open an application and there you want to do something so let's take an example so the example is let's say i have to create account for new hires so any in any company if a new employee joins you know you, so there is a department who creates new accounts right they will create their employee id they'll create they'll give access to certain things 
So let's say you are going through that project of automation and here you have to open those applications to create that employee ID, right? So opening that application is, is done by initialization. What else is done? They will ask you what else? So you, you should know if you open this initialization state, this is how it will appear. Okay, so the, there are two critical things you should remember. Okay, so the first thing is in the initialization block, there is a file called config file. Okay, so you all you do go to the project. So once you open this, go to project and here in the project, there is something called config. Okay, so anybody who has gone through my tutorial should be knowing do you have to click on data. This is a config XLS file. So this config XLS file remembers the queue name. So let's say you are dealing with Q3, Q4, Q5, whatever the queue name you have given. So config file, you will you will enter the queue name and save it, your orchestrator queue name. Okay. So that is the use of the config file. So you will say in the initialization, uh, let me open a notepad so that you can give some critical points to the interviewer. So you don't have to uh, go through everything in detail, but you can provide some critical points. So the interview knows that you have very good knowledge about RE framework. Okay. So first thing, um, let me open a notepad. So there are four states. The first state is the initialization state. Initialization state. So in the, there are three pointers that you should remember config file where we have to update generally for the queue name. We will update the queue name. Next, um, it will initialize all the application initialize all application required for your project and the third thing it will do it will kill open applications for example so first it will kill then it will open okay so why it kills let's say so they'll ask you so these are the three different main purpose of initialization block so they will ask you why it has to kill why it has to kill the open, you wanted to open those applications, why it has to kill because let me tell you anytime while processing the data, let's say the application did not respond or something went wrong. That time if you see this from processing state, this has linked to the first block called initialization block. So that means the, the application did not respond. So it will come to here and first will kill all the open applications and try to reopen. So these are the three things you should remember. Okay, so if you see there is a workflow for kill process, it will kill all the open processes and then it will open, it will initialize all the applications. So these are the three different critical points you should answer. So if I have to answer, I will say RE framework stands for robotic enterprise framework. It contains four states and seven transitions. The first state is called the initialization state where we have to open the config file and generally we will be updating the queue name where we have to deal right from the queue from which the data has to be retrieved and processed so we will enter the queue name in the config file and second second important task it does is it will kill all the open applications required for the business so let's say i'm dealing with the application a b or c whatever the application name is so we'll try to if it is open it will kill it if not it will re reopen the open all the applications so why we have to use kill open application workflow because while processing the transaction if there is any kind of a problem and the application does not respond so it will come back to the initialization block right if there is a system exception or the application exception is there then you can see the arrow is pointed up right the arrow is pointed up here uh, for the system exception and here it will try to kill that and try to reopen those applications so you can reprocess it generally if your browser does not respond you will close it and try to reopen right the same process or the principle is applied over here okay done so you're good with explaining the initialization block now the second it, second is get transaction data so get transaction data is responsible for getting the transaction items getting the transaction items from the queue that's all your answer should be you know getting transaction items from the queue okay so if you are not understanding all these technical jargons that's where i'm requesting you please go through the re framework playlist okay very very important okay 
So this answer you have done. Now the third state is process transaction state. This is very important. Now process transaction state. In the process transaction state, what you do? So the process transaction state does three things. Okay, first it will process. It can be successful, right? You successfully processed it, or you fail to process it. So while processing, it might fail. Why it will fail if the data is wrong? Let's say you are entering a phone number which is supposed to be ten digit, and in the input data it has only nine digit. So it should it will it will throw an error because your phone number is incorrect. So to deal with incorrect data, so it will deal with incorrect data, which is called business rule exception. This is called business rule exception. And the third is. There could be application problem. The application freezes or something like that will happen. So we'll deal with application freeze or system freeze or failure. Any kind of failure, okay? System. So it will deal with all those kind of problems. So these are the three important areas the process transaction state will do. And the end end state is to once everything is complete, it will end. So here we have to explain it well, what happens and how it happens. So let me another five minutes. So what happens in the initialization state? It will open all the application, okay? And now once it opens the application, listen to this very 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 important. So once it has opened the application, two things can happen. The application has opened successfully, or there is a system problem where why the application could not open. So if the application could not open, then it will go to end state. It will close because application could not open. So somebody has to go and manually check what went wrong, right? So these are the two things will happen. Done. Now in the get transaction data, it will try to fetch the data from the orchestrator queue. It will try to get the transaction items from the orchestrator queue. Now once it gets the data, it will send it to process it, or it is possible that there is no data in the get transaction data. So let's say while getting the transaction data, there is a system failure happens. So your uh, computer failed or uh, system crashed or something happens. So what would happen if that happens? If the system exception occurs during the get transaction data, so what will happen? It will go to end process. Remember, this is a tricky question they'll ask you. What if during the while trying to get the transaction data from the queue? If your system fails, what will happen? So, what will happen? It will go to end process state. It will close it. It will go to end process state. Okay. Remember this question. Now, once it gets the data, it got a transaction data. It will process it. So, it will process. There will be three things can happen. One is the processing could be successful. Okay. If it is successful, then what would happen? If you click on it, if it is successful, again it will go to fetch the next data. So likewise, the cycle will continue. So while processing, it may happen somewhere there is a wrong data. If there is a wrong data, what would happen? It will send a state. It will send a message to the queue stating wrong data. So wrong data is nothing but business rule exception. So it will send a message to the queue stating there is a business rule exception occurred. Okay. So this all these examples I have given in the playlist. You can watch it. Okay. So it will just remember it will send a business rule exception to the queue and it will take the next data. Okay, it will go to the get transaction data state and it will fetch the next data. So, like that, the processing will continue. If there is an application exception, if there is an application exception, then what happens? It will try to kill that application and try to reopen by going to the first block. So, if you could explain this four states like this, I am pretty sure you will be able to clear the interview. No doubt, you will be able to clear this interview if you if you could explain everything in detail as I say. Okay, so hope you are very clear and you can explain all these pointers quite clearly before you appear for the interview. Once again, my request is go through the playlist of RE framework. Okay, search for RE framework playlist and you should be able to and you should you know go through that. I I don't know why I'm not able to see it. Um, where is the RE framework playlist? Okay, but again, my request is go to my channel and look for the RE framework playlist and entirely go through that and attend the interview. I am pretty sure you'll be able to crack it. Okay, so thank you very much, guys, for watching this. Have a great day.